it's already going. So we're going to do a little experiment. Okay. And the story behind this experiment starts off way back in the 90s with one of the most popular anime of all time in which a bunch of ragtag teens have to fight giant creatures inside giant robots. And in episode 9, they have to fight one that whenever it's attacked, it splits in two. And the core of both of those have to be destroyed at exactly the same time. Or else it won't work. And how do they go about this? They spend all week, all week, rehearsing a dance to, to, to choreograph all their attacks together. Because they've got 62 seconds to get that thing down. So for that time, they have to be perfectly coordinated, perfectly in tune with each other. And then, well, I saw another video that talked about how churches get people on the same page, create unity and cohesion, and put them in the right state to believe what they need to believe. Everyone's on the same page. They always start out with a worship service that involves music. Either they're singing along to it, or humming along, just everyone getting in tune with the same piece of emotional music until they're all in the same place and all ready to believe. You know what? It connects back in another way. The main character of that anime, his name was Shinji, which means believe. It might have been because he didn't believe in himself enough, but maybe in this one moment, after a week of practice, he did have enough belief. So, I want to try and get in tune with you, okay. connect you mentally, and in order to do that, I'm going to start with a little bit of dancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll back up here where we can easily be seen. Start that song that I sent you. Okay. Go listen. Hopefully that worked. Hopefully we're in sync now. Now, time to tell what's going on. The whole time they were dancing just now, I was thinking of one particular playing card that I put in here. It's not a nice, it's not the, the three of clubs. It's something that you couldn't possibly think I was thinking of unless we were actually in tune. So in order to commit to that, we're gonna have a little moment following our dance worship here moment of commitment. You commit yourself and you can prove later that you actually were at this moment thinking of the card that I've been thinking of this whole time. So you want me to write the number and the suit? Yeah, write it real, real dark and clear because you're going to show it to the camera. Okay. All right. Now, oh, you haven't taken it away yet, yep, sorry. I'm good. Go ahead and hide it. All right. Okay, it's in my pocket. Okay, excellent. <coughs> now I'll just go ahead and get out that, that card that I think you're thinking of. It's, um, it's a much harder one than most people think of. All right, so give it a little shuffle because if I were to just pull it out now people would just think oh you're reading the back of it you know what card it is so I need to convince people that you also couldn't uh, know what position it's in it's shuffled now now I'm gonna hand it to you and you gotta spread through them slowly like this one at a time 
perfectly exactly the way I'm moving it now. Okay. So that I can know what position it's in. All right. But first, go ahead and cut it so that I don't know where it is. I'm not looking right now. Okay. All right. Go through it like I was just showing you, and I will count down from the top and figure out what position the card I'm thinking of is. But okay. don't look at my face. Look away while you do it so that I can't signal to you in any way. You can go a little faster and count faster than that. Okay, good. Now I know exactly where the card I'm thinking of is. Hopefully you don't. I'm going to take my, I'm going to count as you deal them one by one into this hand, all right? All right. I'm not going to look at you because I don't want to give it away. And I'm going to just count by the feel of you touching my hand. So, you know, go steady, but make sure it's clear when you're putting a card down. And then when you get to the position, I'm just going to scream stop inside my head, not out loud. I'm just going to yell stop in my head, and I want you to do the same thing when you get a feeling that there's about, it's time to stop. Hopefully we'll be on the same page there too, and you'll stop at exactly the position that I counted to. Okay. So just right here in the hand. All right. Right there? All right, I want to show you something with those cards real quick. I wanted to really convince people that there really was only one card I was thinking of. Now, oh, we're gonna, I promised that we would show them the, the, the thing that you uh, put in your pocket. So take it out. Can you see it? At this point, I've already committed. We're done. So okay. you can just pull it out and stick it on the back of that card. What was it? Show it to the camera. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. All right. That actually was the card that I was thinking of. You perfectly nailed this. Finally. Here's the thing. I definitely could not have had it be any card other than the eight of hearts, because as you can see, there are no other eight of hearts in this deck. There's nothing. And yours too, except for the one card that you've put the sticker on. Which Show those to the camera. None of those have anything on them either. Just this one, the Eight of Hearts. Oh my gosh, how did you do that? I did, it's synchronization. Wow. It's dancing, it was all the dancing. That is amazing. That is amazing, Eight of Hearts. Now I've gotta know how you do that. <laughs> Five bucks. I'll even give you a hundred. Really? Ha, 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 ha.